Hello, and welcome to Sunglass Journey. This is the part two in my series on sunglass mirrors. In this video, we're going to get hands-on looking at some live examples of how sunglass mirrors affect the view through the lens. In the last video, we talked about how mirrors work on a theoretical level. We mostly looked at diagrams explaining how mirrors reflect away their native color, which boosts the opposite color when you look through the lens. If you missed that one, you may want to view it first. I used the color wheel to find the opposite color that will be boosted, and we're going to use that extensively in this video. I showed a few real life examples with the Maui Jim mirrored grays. In this one, we're going to look at more actual mirrored sunglasses from my collection and take them outside to see what the actual effect is like. And we're also going to talk about some of the quirks or side effects of mirrors. The first kind of mirror we're going to look at is a non chromatic mirror. So, by that, what I mean is any mirror that doesn't have any color in it. So, that could be a silver mirror that looks kind of like a chrome, or it could be a gray mirror, or a black mirror. So what this kind of mirror is going to do is just slightly darken the light without changing the color. And a good example of that is to look at one of Barberini's lenses. And uh, this is something that they, that they do quite a bit. They take a, um, a gradient silver mirror and put it over a plain lens. So in an example like this, there's a mirror that goes starts at the top and then about halfway through the mirror just fades out. But the lens itself isn't gradated at all. It's just a solid color lens. And so when we look through the lens, you can see that it's lighter at the bottom and darker at the top. And that's about where the, the mirror starts to fade out. And this is a good way to just be able to graphically see how much the mirror changes what you're going to see through the lens. And here's another example. This is the Maui Jim Silver Flash or Gray Flash. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but it's their gray lens. And it has a really subtle flash across the front. You can barely see it from the front, but it is a bi-gradient. So what that means is that it's gradated at both the top and the bottom with mirror, and then the center part is mo more open. And so when we look at this lens from the backside, we can see this lighter section in the center, and then it gets darker at the top and the bottom. The next example we're going to look at is a colored mirror over a neutral lens. So what I mean by a neutral lens is like a gray lens that doesn't shift colors at all. And then some sort of a mirror other than gray, so a colored mirror. We looked at these in the last video, but this is really like the best example because Maui Jim has exactly the same gray base tint available in three different mirrors. And um, if you go to the marketing literature on their website, it's pretty deceptive because it uses the exact same image for all, for all the different gray mirrors and it says that they affect colors in exactly the same way. But it's really not true. They're almost completely different glasses because of the mirror that's on this gray lens. So the one on the left, this is their gray or silver mirror, and it's you just have basically gray, but with a little darker band at the top and the bottom, which can help with bright light from above and bright light from below reflecting off the water, but keeping it a little more open in the center. And this is their blue Hawaii mirror, and we used the little color wheel last time we looked at these. And so if I approximate about what the mirror color is, get it to kind of a sort of a like a lighter blue, there's the mirror color, and then this opposite dot is the direction that it's going to push the color, which is like kind of a yellow. Um, you know, maybe it's maybe it's something more like that. There, that looks about right. So this is the blue of the mirror, and then that's about how it shifted the, the color coming through the lens. And then we've got their green mirror on the right. And so I'll swing this around, and it's... Um, Something about like that, I want to say. So, green mirror, opposite color from green is this sort of like purple fuchsia, and that's what you're getting through the lens. And then, um, one of the things that I'm going to talk about some is some of the artifacts of mirrors. So, in some of these, you can see in the blue one, you can see that it gets a little bit lighter around the border. And then, same thing with the green, a little bit lighter there. But let me stress that even though these may look like different color lenses in this picture, they're all very much gray lenses. The color shifts look a little bit more obvious in the photo, but in real life, the shift is subtle. So the effect of the mirror isn't going to completely change the character of a tint. It's just going to slightly alter it, just adding a little bit of a tinge of, of a certain color, like pushing it in, in one direction. 
Next, we're going to look at the case where you have a colored mirror over a colored lens, and the mirror is the same color as the lens. For an example of this, we're going to look at Varnay's wonderful non-polarized brown lens. The one on the bottom is just the plain unmirrored brown, and the one on the top is this exact same lens but with a bronze mirror. So when we look at the view through the lens, you can see the one on the bottom is a little more orange, and then the one on top is a little less orange. And what's going on here is that the one on the top, which has the bronze mirror, is reflecting away some brown light. And what this does optically is makes things a little bit crisper because they're closer to gray. So it's, it's sort of like, you know, there's less thick color going on and it's just pushing things a little bit more towards a neutral lens. Now let's look at the case where the mirror is the opposite color from the lens color. So here we have Etnia Barcelona's brown polarized lens with a blue flash. Looking through the back side, you can see that it's a gradated brown, but the blue flash is consistent all the way across. And if we look at the color wheel, blue is basically the opposite from brown. And so what this blue flash is doing is boosting the saturation of the brown. So it's just going to make a brown lens even more brown. So this is a situation where we have a mirror that's a different color than the lens. So basically both the mirror and the lens are colored, but the mirror is not the same color as the lens, but it's not the opposite color either. And this is probably the category that most of the kind of mirror recipes that we're going to see are going to fall into. Here's Randolph Engineering's cobalt lens. So what this is, is it's their green AGX lens with a cobalt mirror on it. And so if we go to our color wheel, cobalt's the mirror. So what it's going to do, it's going to boost this kind of like orangey yellow over here. And so if the lens is already a green, which is somewhere over here, it's just what it's what the mirror is going to do is just push it a little bit in that yellow direction. So in essence, it's still a green lens. It's just going to be a little bit more yellow than the non-mirrored version of this lens. And I think that because the blue is kind of close to green, it's also going to knock down the the intensity of the of that that green a little bit too. So it's going to be a little crisper, kind of closer to a gray green. The last example is what I'm going to call a bicolor double gradient. So I don't know if that's a technical term, but that's basically a situation where you have two different mirrors on the on the glasses that are in different colors. So it's either a mirror gradating from one color to another or um, almost like a banded mirror where you have one color mirror on the top and another color mirror on the bottom. So here's an interesting lens. This is Barnet's City Lynx lens. And so this is a is a double gradient. So it has a gradient at the top and the bottom. But the gradient at the top is kind of like a purple blue. And then it almost gets a little bit more purple before going to no mirror. And then at the bottom, you've got a silver mirror. I think the intention of it is that the, the top part, because it's like kind of a blue color, is going to reflect away some of the sky color. And it's going to equalize that out. And then the bottom part is supposed to, um, I guess, protect you against reflections coming down from down below. Um, <clears throat> and what it should do is kind of shift the top of the lens to a warmer color, and the bottom should be neutral. But I'm not seeing too much of a shift. I guess it gets a little bit warmer up near the top. And then um, down near the bottom, it seems like it's just getting a lot darker down there. So... Um, this is kind of a weird lens. It was um, I was pretty excited to get it, and it looks really cool from the front, just having those two different color mirrors. But it's a little bit uninspiring coming looking from the backside. I don't feel like it's really um, shifting the the colors that much. I mentioned earlier that there was an artifact with mirrors that we can see a color shift as we look towards the edge of the inside of the lens. The reason for this is that there's a thing that mirrors do, and I see this especially in some of the more saturated ones, but not in every case. But when you change the angle that you're looking at the outside of the lens, the color shifts a little bit. When I look at this Maui Jim Blue Hawaii lens, as I change the angle, it starts to go purple. And then looking at it from the inside, where we have the blue mirror, which is what the large dot corresponds to here in the color wheel, I'm getting a shift that's like an orange boost which corresponds to what we saw in the reflection from the outside. 
but towards the edges, because the angle's changing where the light is hitting it in relation to your eye, the lens is going a little bit purple. And so if I swing the dot around, then that starts to push the small dot into the green territory. And what that's doing is it's just cooling off what we're seeing around the edge of the lens. So it shifts from like a yellow orange in the center out to more of a yellow that's bordering on green at the edge. Looking through the lens outside, I get that nice warm tan kind of an effect that we saw in the center of the, uh, of the lens in the photo. But as I tilt the lens, I can see things go a little bit cool towards the green yellow. The experience with your eyeball right up against the lens is a little bit different and I can't quite simulate that with the camera. But where you notice the color shift is if you look up or down and your eyeball is looking out towards the edges of the lens. Then you see that little bit of a color shift. It isn't super obvious, but you may notice it. And here's the Maui gym with the green mirror. And you can see pretty plainly that it goes a little blue towards the outside. And when I tilt it over, blue, and then almost purple, the more that I tilt it. And from inside the lens, in the center where the mirror looks really green, I've got the green dotted line over here, what I'm getting is this purple. But then when we change the angle, where things started to go kind of blue-violet, what happens is the opposite color is kind of this orange-yellow over here and so it's a little it's a little more subtle here but you can see towards the edge it's the pink is dropping off and it gets a little bit yellow towards the edge and taking it out to the street it's kind of the same idea where everything looks pretty purple and actually when you put these glasses on it doesn't look this purple it's only through the video that you see this but when you put it on your eyes adjust pretty quickly and it's actually a pretty cool lens. It's just a really crisp lens, but you don't see this um, kind of ghastly pink that you're seeing here. But you do get a little, little bit of that effect around the perimeter of the lens where, you know, it's like if you're tilting your head up or down right near the edge, um, you see things go just a little bit more yellow with this lens. It's not super noticeable, but it's really just in, right at the edges. This is Varney's red flashed pure blue lens. And it does look like a red flash in the center of the lens, but you can see that it goes a little bit orange towards the outside. And if I pan down a little bit, then it, the whole thing starts to go kind of orange. And then when I come down really low, it even starts to go a little bit yellow. This one is a really interesting one that's kind of hard to figure out. But the mirror, remember, was going from a purple to a yellow. So in the center, where it's purple, what I'm getting is a boost in green. And then as we swing around to the yellow that we get at the edge of the lens, the boost should be more of a blue boost. And that's kind of what I'm getting through the lens. The center part is, um, is a little more yellow green, and then it goes blue towards the outside. And that's kind of what I'm getting through the lens. The center part is, um, is a little more yellow green, and then it goes blue towards the outside. The effect outside is actually pretty weird and hard. It's really kind of hard to figure out. But when you look through the center of the lens, it's a little more, more of a warm color. And then the edges go to that blue color. And it's not quite as subtle as any other ones. It does actually come into your field of view a little bit. But you don't really see it as a fringing color. Um, it does some weird things. I think what's happening is the, uh, the blue border is kind of tricking your brain into thinking that this is a like a really cool blue lens and your eyeball is reacting and it's your visual cortex is trying to warm things up a little bit and so the center of the lens um, which is sort of a like in the green greenish area it's it's a little bit cool is actually reading a little bit warmer than it really is so it's like your brain is getting tricked by these a little bit but whatever's going on it's it's a pretty cool lens this is actually one of my favorite lenses um, maybe maybe my top Varney or second Varney lens um, something about it is just really cool it's um, it's super lively and you you definitely notice the effect where it um, is a little bit different color towards the edges so it's one of those things you're either gonna love it or hate it I think it's it's a really cool way that they've kind of used this this like um, kind of side effect to do something really cool. So the next time you're sunglass shopping and you want to figure out what the mirrors are going to do, 
this is sort of a summary of, of what we talked about. So if you want to boost the color of the of whatever tint that you have, get a mirror that's the opposite color. If you want to cut the color of the tint, then go for a mirror that's the same color as the lens tint. If you want to slightly shift colors, then you have to think a little bit more. But again, it's this opposite color thing. And then mirrors are also going to do things a little bit differently than what a tinted lens would do. We're going to see a color shift at the edge, like we talked about in the video. Depending on how dark the mirror is, it may be more or less extreme. But this is often the case. It's just a side effect of mirrors, and um, it's one of those things that um, I think it's pretty cool. I actually kind of enjoy it for some reason, but it may bug other people. But it's good to know that that's something that you might want to expect. Another thing is that like a really bright colored mirror is going to affect a very narrow color range. So what that means is that um, while, while a lens like a tinted lens that's kind of closer to a gray um, may boost a wider range of colors, but a super saturated red or green or blue mirror is going to act on a, a narrow color range. And the one way to think of these is that their mirrors are kind of like spices. So if you had a recipe and the lens was, was the, the base lens was the main ingredient, then the mirror is like a spice that you add to that. So it's um, on its own, maybe it has like a stronger focus, but it's really just going to slightly affect the overall color of the lens. Mirrors become a little bit less effective at angles. So as we angle the, the sunglass, not only does the color shift, but the mirror just kind of, the effect of the mirror kind of fades out too. So when you're looking through the lens, the mirror may actually block less of the, the light that's coming in from angles other than straight ahead. And then another way to think of mirrors is, is that we think about what kind of light that it is that we want to block. So um, a good example there is, let's say we're going to be out in the water where the water is blue, sky is blue, and you're really bombarded in blue light. And so in that case, a blue mirror is going to be a really good way to knock down all that blue light. So good examples there would be like either Costa or Maui Jim's blue mirrored gray. It's taking a, a neutral lens and we're just cutting down whatever the predominant light is. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this.